Hey everybody, welcome back to Recordology. Okay, a major shout out to my viewer Detroit Stars, who really got me started on the research for today's show, because we are going to take a look at this awesome, awesome little colored record from 1954. And uh, thanks to your help, I got started on the right path and was able to... Uh, Find that bit of information on Discogs and then also do a little additional research. So this is a super cool record. I found it for a dollar. The other day we did a haul video. If you watch that one, you'll see this record in there. And I thought, well, it's just a cool, you know, colored record. I always pick those up. It was a buck and you can't go wrong. Now you'll notice that there's some fresh paper tears up there because the stupid label was taped right to or the price tag was taped right to the label so i tried to remove it slowly and carefully but that damage was done so the more i researched about this record the more excited i got because it turns out it's a pretty rare little gem uh, although not necessarily worth a lot of money but from a historical standpoint it's extremely valuable so Here's what the story is on this record. So, in 1954, the Helena Rubinstein Cosmetics Company was running a promotion for a new lipstick called Red, I think it was called Red Hot and Cool. And to help promote that, they did some photography uh, in some magazines and whatnot with a little guy named Dave Brubeck. See the little Dave Brubeck sign on there? A little... Uh, mention of the Dave Brubeck band and um, to go along with that they released this record and it was a partnership with Columbia Records as you can see right there it is a six inch vinyl record as far as I could tell it is not a resin record it is not any other material it's not vinylite although it kind of looks like vinylite it is an actual vinyl record and it Although, you know, it's interesting is it does, this label does appear to be adhered to it based on the way it was coming up on the edges. So you would think it may be even styrene, but I'm not 100% sure about that. What I do know is that according to the Dave Brubeck website, they say that this is sort of a holy grail for Dave Brubeck record collectors. That being said, I saw one for $8 tonight on eBay. So um, yeah, that, furthermore, there is not any other ones available anywhere that I could see. So uh, according to Discogs, it sells in the you know seven to ten dollar range when it comes available. I just think that that's pretty rare when that happens. So you can see it's uh, you know in remarkable condition. It's got some scratches, which you would too if you were uh, or do if you were <laughs> born in 1954. And uh, you know pretty nondescript label, jazz, jazz hot, jazz combo hot, 78 RPM. That's sort of a rare size or a rare speed um, for a record these days. But back then, it was pretty common with children's records, with small records like this. But people, you know, still had their 78 record players a lot. You know, the adoption of 45 and 33 was coming along. But, you know, everybody could spend 78 RPM. So what's interesting is I think this is a micro groove. I don't think this is a 3 mil groove depth. So I'm going to be using an LP stylus on it. We are using the Audiotronics 304A schoolroom record player from the 1980s so that I can spin at 78 RPMs. And I just think it's a cool player and a good excuse to get it out. So let's go ahead and listen to this record. I did listen to a tiny bit and it sounded a little scratchy, but not bad. So let's fire up this beast. Let's spin her up. By the way, for those of you that have you know mentioned it to me, this is an idler drive turntable. So there is a little rubber tire over here, an idler wheel that is spinning the inside of that thick platter. The thick platter is the giveaway when it comes to uh, whether or not a turntable is going to be uh, driven with that idler wheel. But one of the concerns is when you stow it, it's bad to have that idler wheel pressing up against the inside of that platter all the time because you'll get a little dent in it. However, this one has a pause mode which pulls that idler wheel off of the inside of the platter. As you can see, it stopped, and that's the stowed position. So on this one, they thought of that, and it does an, a really, really good job. Now, I would be curious if anybody wants to educate me, as you often do, about this little light here. It's this little plastic piece and a little light in there, fairly steady. Sometimes it flickers. 
I don't know if it's just a power light. I don't know why it's got the long piece of plastic. You know, tell me about it in the comments below. But without further ado, let's go ahead and listen to this record. <laughs> That is some hot jazz right there. So you can sit around with your new lipstick. By the way, this came with a lipstick. I don't know if I said that. You can sit around wearing your new Helena Rubinstein red hot and cool lipstick, listening to some hot jazz. They say this is a red orange vinyl record. It is pretty red as far as I can tell, like cherry red, but what do I know? Okay, let's go ahead and play this side. Okay, and there's the other side. Really, really cool stuff. And did you hear that nasty scratch? Rest in peace, my stylus. <laughs> Just hear it like chipping away at it every time it went around. But for you guys, I'll do anything. I don't know if I'll play this record that often, but you know, once it's on the show, once it's recorded, once it exists in the digital world, there's some of those scratches. There's not really a need to go back and play the physical record anymore. That's why this video exists. So hopefully, this was uh, somewhat historic in the sense of getting this recording out there for you guys to hear and to see a unique record. Again, wasn't planning to find this whatsoever. It was just crate digging, was just looking at an antique store. This is indicative of something you're going to find more in an antique store than a thrift store. These rare type of things. Sometimes, you know, this thrift store, it was, it was a mall. So there were some booths, they wanted $20 for $1 vinyl. And then you found this thing for... A dollar that's probably worth you know 10 times that so anyway an interesting little historic thing and a rare record which is fun to come across let me know down in the comments below if you've ever heard of such a thing if you have anything that's a one-off specialty record like this I would love to hear about it give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't done so all that cool stuff thank you so much for watching happy record hunting we will see you tomorrow